covering the locker room. Lakers bounced back after Friday night's debacle uh, with a nice matinee win over the Spurs. Best offensive performance to date, uh, considering that they had six players in double figures when it comes to the balance of their offense, James. All six of those guys with 14 or more points. Yeah, I thought this was a very encouraging game as far as being able to you know, have a game where Spurs snap back and you're able to sustain and have that 7-0 run in the fourth. But I thought AD's start in the paint, in the paint, in the paint, drawing the double team, kicking it out. I thought Ellington and Monk were the key differences in today's game. Uh, you know, 5 or 7 for Ellington, 2 or 4 for behind the arc. They, you know, they executed very well. Didn't turn it over like they usually do in critical moments. But I thought uh, having Tucker back, was was really imperative having him handle the ball, make some decisions, and get to the cup. I thought the pretty good job of you know improving where they were trying to go. Rob, before we get your opening thoughts, let's go back downtown. AD is with Mike Trudell. All right, Anthony Davis, Spurs cut it to two there with a run. What did you guys have to do to buckle down, get the win? Well, I had to put the ball in my hand so we can hurry up and get the game over with. It's 246, my Packers are playing. We couldn't go into overtime. I didn't want to lose the game and be mad and not watch the Packers, so we had to hurry up and get it done. But uh, they made run. They can shoot the ball. Um, we just buckled down defensively. You know, Melo hit a big three, Taylor with a big finish. God made some big plays. You know, Russ with some big rebounds. You know, guys are I made big plays towards the end of the game. We were able to get the run, you know. I mean, the win. These guys, they're going to say shoot the ball. They got hot. A lot of offensive rebounds towards the end. But guys are scrambling. So, we'll take it. We got another one tomorrow. But I'm just glad it's over now so I can go home and watch this game. I figured you were going to get a Packers reference in here, but you're a Chicago guy. Okay, so is THT. What was it like having Taylor back in the action? Uh, it was good. Another ball handler. Not so much pressure on Russ and Rondo. Um, Come in, 17 points, big plays, big rebound, big stop defensively. We missed him. You know, he's a big part. He's a big part of our team. And he was able to come in and help us get this win tonight. Well, today. <laughs> today works. All right. I was going to ask you another one, but I know you're itching to get back there. I think it's 3-0. Whatever. All right, Packers, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mike. Appreciate that. Nothing going on in that snowy game at Lambeau just yet. Uh, THT returns with the Big 17. L.A. on fire from 3, 15 to 31. A new lineup. But A.D. is where we will start, Rob, because he set the tone. 34 points. He had 19 in the first quarter. 18 of his 27 in the first half were in the paint. They zoned. They went to a double. He then gets six assists. He's got two steals and a keen boards. A.D. with a big monster game. You know, this is one of the things that drives James not bonkers. When AD goes out and scores 18 points like this, and we be like, why doesn't he do this every game? But I know sometimes it takes a lot of stress in your body to do this all the time, but we want him to do this because, to me, this is what got him going. He got buckets in the paint. Next thing you know, he's feeling good. He's stepping outside, knocking down threes. And this is the AD that we talk about that can be an MVP. And these are the type of games that he can have each and every night if he just... Take them inside, then take them outside. And, and, and I think the adjustment that San Antonio made in that second half to try to maybe take the ball out of AD's hands, he then made great decisions. Big game, James. And I think that's important for him as well. Well, you almost play right into the Lakers' hand. You can't stop a man-to-man, -man, so you go to a zone. Or a double. That even yep. opens up the middle even more, and AD played it to the T. He went right in the middle. They had to collapse. He kicked it out for some great shots, So, and they had to go back to man-to-man. -to -man. So I think the Lakers did a good job of adjusting. Uh, like I said, Spurs came back down the stretch. Two-point game. Here we are thinking again. Composure. Kept themselves, you know, into the game. Made some big 7-0 run. So, yeah, you like to see that they're able to adapt as the game goes along the way the opponent are, are defending them or what they need to do to, to win a game. Yeah, just under, what, four minutes, three minutes left in that game, and the Spurs are on an 11-2 run, and you're sitting here thinking, here we go again. And THT comes up with that big layup. Uh, AD kicks it out to Mello for three. And then AD with a nice pass to Russ. 7-0 run. Game over. I like the way they're closing. But I do want to focus on, in this game, I do want to focus on THT, though. Um, we made a lot about him returning. 
I mean, it was a, it was a blow to this team. We know uh, not having him because of what he adds on both ends of the floor. Those young ladies you need. Another, another creator, another guy that's not afraid to take a shot. He was big tonight, Rob, in his first game back. I, I was surprised at how good he looked, and I thought to myself, man, we really missed him. Uh, he was huge. Uh, you know, you look at a guy like this, I know they talked about it before his show, how would his conditioning be? His conditioning would look like it was great. It's not like he hasn't lost a step. And the thing we also forget, this guy is young. He's going to get better each and every year. And this first game, and the sitting outs for so long, he doesn't even look like he'd been out. I know. He came out, he was aggressive, he just showed no signs of a bad thumb, he was getting to the hole. What I really like down the stretch, do you see what Russ did? Russ said, go ahead, young fella, you got it. He came down, got a pick and roll, made, made some things happen. And that's what you got to have sometimes when you have Russ and LeBron in the game. You got to have somebody else because think about it. Team's going to, you know, they're going to plan for Russ. They're going to plan for LeBron. Sometimes they forget about guys like THC who are able to score. You know who's not afraid to take the last shot in games or with shot clocks. We've seen Malik Monk do it. We know AD, Russ, and LeBron, of course. How valuable is it to get THT back? A guy that's not afraid to take and make shots late game situations. You know how unpredictable the Lakers could be with a three-headed monster ball handlers, LeBron, Wes, and Tucker? Uh, LeBron really believes in Tucker's uh, making uh, great decisions with the ball in his hands down the stretch. And you see what he can do in finishing. So it's vital uh, to, to have that, what I call a three-headed monster ball handling trio. Uh, Tucker's amazing. He hits big shots. He can go to the hole. Uh, he can hit little, little mid-range. And let's not forget, a lot of deflections come his way on the other end, on the defensive end. He puts a lot of pressure on, on, the, on the offensive guys on that end. They went to a lineup change. AD to the five, which meant no DeAndre Jordan. Bays who had struggled offensively um, out. They, they, put in, they put in THT into that spot. They put Mello at the four. Were you surprised at that lineup change? And, and, and what did you think of it? Especially THT just coming right in and getting the start. Jinkies. Yeah. That's what I thought. I'm like, wow. And <laughs> hey, 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 you look at this. Uh, we always talk about giving people game balls. You could give a game ball to Coach Vogel to looking at this line and say, you know what? I need some youth. I need some veteranism. You throw in these two guys. Spark. Yeah, THT and Carmelo, and they work. The guys came out, and I think it had a lot to do with AD also, saying, you know what, I'm going to go down this paint, I'm going to feast, and I'm going to eat. And he scored, like you said, 18 points in the paint in the first quarter. And, and that kind of gave them a spark. THT came out, hit his first three, his first shot after yeah. being missing. He comes out and hit a three. Carmelo, you know what, everybody's going to run me off the three. I'm going to pull up full of mid, mid-range jumpers. And that's what you got to do. You have to be able to switch your game up because yeah. people are playing for you. You know, I guarantee you, in the game plan, Pop saying, yo, Carmelo's hot from three, run him off the three. But you forget, that's how Carmelo made his living in the league, the little mid-range and things like that. you got to be able to adjust this game. You can't just be one way all the time. And tonight, the Lakers, I said this afternoon, the Lakers showed us a variety of different packages they can use offensively. Yeah, love the efficiency with five guys um, scoring 15 points or more. Um, I love the three-point ball, 15 to 31, because the ball was moving. I thought they were good shots, James, at 48%. But you mentioned Monk and Ellington, and, and I want to give them a little love. Seven of 11 combined for three for 31 points as you look at the balance scoring right there. That's impressive. Yes. You know, anytime the Lakers get up into that 27, 28 range, almost close to 30 assists, you know the ball is moving, and that's what happened tonight. 28 assists. Ball was going inside. I think, you know, I didn't really think that starting lineup was was maybe the best idea. But what it did, it, it forced AD to be the only big on the floor. And when you're looking around and you don't see Dwight Howard, you don't see uh, DeAndre Jordan, sometimes subconsciously, I'm the big. And they went to work. So uh, I think that was a good example of what they need to do as far as moving the ball, 28 assists. That's a good volume. James, I think your word was golly. <laughs> I think it's gone. Oh, surprise, surprise, surprise. But you know, also, we talked about <clears throat> the Lakers only have 14 turnovers. I know Russ had seven of those, but to me, 14 is a big improvement because they've been, they had 16. So, uh, taking I, care of the basketball. Yeah, taking care of the basketball was one of the big key of the game because they've been turning over like hotcakes. Really shows you, too, like you got the confidence that they have in THT. They paid him this summer. He's valuable. Made sure they kept him. Valuable. And the first day he's ready to go, he was thrown in the get starting line. Get back in there. Earn that <laughs> money. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> All right, let's get you to the.